Hi there. In this video, I'm going to explain the most basic tool that you're ever going to need for PHP programming. And that is a good, I don't mean what came with your machine, a really good and most importantly, free text editor. Okay. I don't get anything for recommending this, so, you know, don't think I do. But anyway, uh, it is the best free editor that you can possibly get for uh, for using uh, for developing PHP and that is called notepad plus plus so go to your favorite mine is Google search engine and type in notepad plus plus and do a search and you're gonna go to notepad plus plus org make sure it's this not something else because other people might be putting this out uh, like down below and then adding installers that add toolbars you don't want that so anyway go to the notepad plus plus home page and you'll see once again notepad plus plus uh, you'll you can read up on that if you feel like it or whatever if you're on uh, Apple machine or whatever there's another one called context and uh, that works better for Apple from what I understand. I don't own an Apple, so I can't really tell you. I'm working on Windows with Windows 7, so Notepad++ is definitely what I use. I use it for everything, and I'm going to use it for this entire series. So if there is a Notepad++ for Apple, I would highly recommend if you're following this series to go ahead and get that. Now, once you hit the download page, it's going to give you uh, various uh, options, and you can pick the option you want to. I recommend the Notepad++ installer. It says, take this one if you have no idea which you should take. So, yeah, that's the one. And then you would go ahead and save the file, which I'm going to go ahead and do. And it probably would overwrite my other file that I already have on here. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, see if I have it on here probably do uh, well I have an earlier version so it's all good at any rate uh, at this point you would double click this or single click it or whatever or in my case I always open the containing folder and then find it in the containing folder and then I click on it there then it's gonna ask you if you want notepad plus plus to make changes to your system now if you are on the actual notepad plus plus dot org download whatever version is the latest uh, you'll want to go ahead and allow that if you get your notepad plus plus from somewhere else and it wants to give you installers uh, and toolbars and stuff like that you know don't do it my suggestion is take note of this right here and make sure that's the website you're on download the notepad installer and you're good to go so we're going to go ahead and go back over to Notepad now, and I'm going to show you. Uh, this is my test PHP, which I have in here. Now I made a couple of files before, but uh, something happened, and I didn't really notice where those files went. So I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick, like on this. This is going to open up with when you first open it. It's going to have some information about Notepad plus plus. And then you just simply create a new file by clicking New right here. And I'm just going to take this information out of my test file here. And I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to show you in this new file, uh, when I paste it, it's everything's going to be black. But let me show you what happens when I make a PHP file. I'm going to paste that there. And you can see everything's black but I'm gonna go file save as and uh, even though I made this before I'm gonna overwrite that and once I've saved it as a PHP uh, you know I, I skipped a very uh, important step so I'm gonna go ahead and do that again uh, demo one and down here you'll have a lot of choices and it'll want to save it as a text file but you want to go down here to PHP hypertext preprocessor file and save it as an HT or, or a PHP 
hypertext pre whatever PHP that's how you want to save it if you save it as PHP it'll come up as PHP in your Explorer the other way you can do that is you can just uh, put anything you want to in there or leave it blank and then you can just append dot PHP save and it will save as dot PHP and now you have a dot PHP file anyway this is a very very useful and productive and most importantly free tool now if you want to use expensive uh, stuff like say uh, you know they're out there Dreamweaver is one and I'm sure there's others you know you can spend seven hundred to a thousand dollars on a program that will write PHP but you know what you're getting very very little in return for your investment uh, yeah you're getting some you know pre populate stuff and things like that but when you start working with uh, pre-made programs like say for example WordPress uh, Zencart uh, Zoomla Joomla whatever they call themselves uh, and you start opening those up in uh, Dreamweaver, they will corrupt the files that already exist. Notepad++ will not do that. It'll open the file in the exact format you received it in, and it will save your changes in the exact format you put them in, and you can upload those, and you can be confident that if something is wrong, it's a syntax error. If, so anyway, uh, we're going back to this page of test, which you can see here. Uh, I've put in a variable and I put in the break tag so it doesn't just append itself to the end of this line and the break tag said nothing and that's what we saw on that page so I'm gonna say something switch things up a little bit I'm gonna save that file save and then we go back to our browser and you can see where it says nothing it's gonna say something now that reloads. No, it's actually saying some, uh, nothing. So, what do I do? All right. No, that's in demo. Okay. My bad. That was the demo file. So, anyway, yeah, make sure that you're working with the right file. So, where it says nothing, we put something. We're going to file save. You can also control S and get around that. Now, this should change from nothing to something. There we go. We have something. So anyway, that's the editing tool that you need for PHP. If you're going to follow my series, uh, I highly recommend that you get that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be putting my next video up shortly.